hi everyone you're welcome to my channel my name is Tao Basheyi yeah so today we'll be learning how to make a beautiful pant trouser like you can either make it into a palazzo with the style I'm going to show you you can do it like you can make it a straight pant or a wide leg or you know any anyone like you can just modify it into anyone you want so um I didn't have this tutorial you have any issues with trouser again trust me if you follow this step you will not have any issues with trouser again you don't have any issues with your crotch or your trouser are shifting to one side like on this side is not aligning very well you get so do like comment share and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you get notified thank you very much and let's get on into the video hello so mates yeah like i said we're learning how to make a pants trouser again so with me i have the measurements here a waist of 32 a hip of 42 lap of 24 around knee is 19 inches then the trouser length is 43 inches so now let's get started first of all if i'm making a trouser i like having my lines i get a rule half inch from here to here then from here, I'll take one inches down. Yeah, so. Now I said the length is 43 inches. Yeah, this is 43 inches here. 43, then plus 1.5 for the allowance 1.5 for allowance so now let's do that line i hope you can see what i'm doing then i'll, I'll, I'll hip is 42 so how to get your crotch your crotch depth you have to divide the hip by 4. 42, this is it, 42 divided by 4 equals to 10.5. So I have 10.5 inches. So you put the 10.5 here. 10.5. 10.5. Then you rule your line. You rule the line. So... On this crotch depth, now I can I will not put her lap measurement. Her lap is 24. Whenever we're taking lap measurements, knee measurement and ankle measurement is always divided by two. But if you are taking the waist measurement and the hip measurement, it has to be divided by four. So a lap is 24 divided by two is 12 inches. Let me add five uh, 0 0.5 for seam. So I have 12.5 here then on this place now i'll come up by two and a half inches that is going to be her hip line two and a half inches that's going to be her hip line so you rule the line you rule a straight line so now a hip initially a hip is 42 divided by four we have 10.5 so you now put the 10.5 on the hip line 10.5 on the hip line. You repeat the same 10.5 on the waistline. You repeat the same 10.5 on the waistline. So you connect your line together. The line from the waist to the hip, you connect it. You connect it down to the crotch line. 10.5. 10.5. So you connect it. Then you just come up here, here by one inches. In between here come up here by one inch one inch then you connect you connect it you connect it like this this is how you connect you connect like this now the lap measurement we have 12.5 you know it was 12 but I added five. the lap a bit so you now take the 12.5 you divide it into two whatever thing you get you mark this automatically becomes your grain line your gray line so everything you are going to do now you take the same now i have 
Now let's get the let's get the nail. So I'm going to use 23 inches for our nail, our nail length. 23 inches. You connect the line together. So now you know I have 6.25 here. You come here, you put the 6.25. You come to the last to the ankle, you put the 6.25, then you rule your lines. Then you rule the line. You rule the line. So you can see what we have here now. So every other measurement we are taking now has to be divided by two. So now her round knee is 19 inches. So that let's divide 19 by 2. 19 inches divided by 2 equals to 9.25. So the 9.25, you share it equally in between this line. 9.25, you share it divided by 2 again. That's 4.75. So 4.75, 9.2. So you can see we have to share the 9.2. Equally, you know, this is your gray line. This is where you start dividing your measurements into two. So you can see what I did here. Then I'm going to subtract, uh, subtract uh, one inches, one inch rather, from the round knee here to get a ankle, to get an ankle. So let's use 18 inches. 18 divided by two, that is nine. Nine divided by two again, because we're going to share it. That's 4.5, 4.5 here. So have to be nine. This is nine altogether. You repeat the same thing here. So now let's connect our lines together. <clears throat> let's connect our lines together. Our trouser is taking shape. You connect this one to the connect this to the crotch to the crotch line. Then you take this one down. Take this one down. Then from the knee, connect it down to the ankle. So what I like doing, because I don't want here to short, because if we do not do it very well, here is going to short. So I'll just extend this line a little. I'll just I'll just go like this. I'll go like this. So that my seam allowance here doesn't go short. I'll go like this. You can see what I did here. So now let's come to the waist. So now her waist is 32. 32 divided by 4 equals to 8 inches equals to 8 so now you have to put the 8 here so you start from you start from this line you put the 8 inches here so let's add 1 inch for for that allowance let's add 1 inch for that allowance so now we have to connect so now let's connect to the crotch line Let's connect to the crotch line. So, are you seeing what we have? Just blend it here. Blend it here. Now, we are done with the front. We are done with the front part of the trouser. Go down here, you mark 1.5. So that here it doesn't start bulging. You go down here by 1.5 and you connect it straight down to this place you connect it straight down to this place like this you connect it like this so i hope you can see everything now then now let's cut we are cutting we cut here first take it like this yeah so now Let's cut it down. So we, we you leave don't cut here first. It's when we finish drafting the back that you can now cut it. So you won't make a mistake. So just cut like this. Cut like this. So that your allowance doesn't go short if you are sewing. So now you cut. 
this is it so what i like doing is i like notching all my lines together like you notch them so that when you are sewing all your lines all your notches have to meet if you do this you won't have any issues at all notch the needle also notch the nail notch notch here too yeah notch here so now we are done with the with the front so let's cut the back if you noticed here on this front pattern i did not add any sewing allowance like on all the body because whatever allowance we need is going to be added at the back so now let's start just rule all your lines all the meeting lines rule them rule all your meeting lines so on this crotch we're going to put two and a half inches here two and a half inches here why other ones will be two two inches two two inches i only added 2.5 here other ones are two inches so just take note of that then on this up part here they're going to come up by one inch one inch we come up by one by one inch then we said her waist is 32 divided by four that is eight inches so you start from here you put the eight inches here you mark it start from the starting from this line here from the waist from the waistline here mark eight inches then now add 3.5 add three add 3.5 inches to this place 3.5 inches then you connect your lines together you see you now start from here to that one inch you mark here or you can as well just put the one inch here just connect your lines from here from this place from this place connect it straight up here connect it straight up here are you seeing what i'm doing okay eight inches first to your waist then you now add 3.5 3.5 inches you can add four it depends on how big the client is you can add four but i decide to do three and a half inches it's fine so with that three and a half inches you connect it to the to this crotch line here you connect it to this crotch line here this crotch line here then here from this uh, 2.5 inches the crotch the back and uh, the back crotch then you now go up just connect like this the same way you connected the first one you just connect connect like this are you seeing it then connect all your lines together Connect all your lines together. So, we are almost done. Then there's something I normally do. It gets, I will add, because now I want to cross check this measurement. I want to cross check it and see that everything is perfect. So, on this hip line here, I will mark whatever I have here. I have 10.75 times 2. 10. 0.75 times 2 equals to 21.5 21.5 you get so on that same hip line for the back i'll take the measurements i have 13.5 i have 13.5 13.5 13 times 2 equals to 27 the hip for the front is 21.5 the back is 27 so i will now plus them together 27 plus 21.5 equals to 48.5 48.5 minus a hip of 42 42 so i have 6.5 equals to 6.5 so it is fine it is okay because it is a fitted trouser 
you get anything lesser than six will not go for the clients anything lesser so it should be from six upward if you are short of six what you will just do is at this back here you can see the way i curve my own like this you can just take it up like this so you have extra allowance then you now you now calculate from there you know you are safe but i'm going to use this one so let's cut now so from here you know initially i left I didn't cut this front part, so now let's cut. So let me off. Let me cut it off. So now let's cut the back now. I hope you guys understand if you do not understand let me know in the comments session let me know in the comment section so, so still maintain your notches Notch the back also. Notch the back, please. Always notch. Always notch. So, guys, now we are going to go to the sewing sewing machine and sew one of the back and one of the fronts. I'll take one of the back and one of the yeah right side facing each other. So I'll go to the sewing machine and sew half inches down. I'll go to the sewing machine and sew half and so I'll go to and sew half inches down. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Then I'll come back and show you side facing right side. Then I sew the side. I did the same thing for the second one. So what you will now do is you place it like this. You can see you place it like this place them on each other same right side to right side like this you place them like this can you see what I'm doing you place them like this so you will now sew the front crotch first you sew the front crotch first with half inch you sew it with half inch then after that I'll put properly okay so now i have joined the crotch with half inch so what you're not going to do for the back okay before that i added that allowance before that i added that allowance so uh, that is four inches plus half 4.5 because I'm going to sew half inch on both sides. So the notch you two together. Then for the back you do the same thing here too. You mark 4.5. Mark 4.5. And also notch. And you also notch. So the front that can do five inches then the back one you do six six or six point five six point five inches so let me go and sew it so then i'll come back and show you they will not take the final measurements okay like i said i'll be sewing with that so i've done that for both back and front you can see i've sewed that for both back and front so now let's now take the final measurements then we'll close then we'll finish the trouser so now this is it so what you, what you will now do is um you know we said our waist is 32 inches divided by four that's eight 
So now it has to be by 2. 32 divided by 2 equals to 16. Because now it's just folded into two parts, not like it's into four now. So now we will now divide 32 always divided by 2. We have 16 inches. So what you will do is you now you now measure 16 from here to this place. You can see you measure 16, then you mark it. Then you mark. This is where the 16 inches for the waist is. 16 is fine. Yeah, 16. So from that 16, whatever thing, if you do your own trouser, any measurement you have. Any measurement you have here, whatever space that is here, sometimes you find out that here is plenty. You get, don't bother, just mark your exact waist measurement. Then you now start taking it down, taking it down, taking it down to you come back to you. And here, here must be half inch. You take it to you get to this place that is half inch. Are you seeing? If you notice, here is bigger than here is bigger than half inch but don't bother just take your exact measurements here then just start with here must be half inch so let me now go and sew and come back and, and then after sewing here then i'll now close the trouser so i just had to do this because this is also beginner and advanced friendly so that everybody can actually get what i'm doing yeah so i have joined that back together i've joined the back together so this is what what we have i've joined it together it gets so now we're going to close we're going to finish the trouser like close it up then i'll fix the zip on the side i'm doing the side zip yeah so now look at it the crotch the two crotch let them meet each other you can see all my notch two all the notches two are meeting so you sew from here down then you sew from here down so let me sew and come back I'm going to cut the band for the trouser i'm going to cut two inches now this is the trouser i am done with it it's just to fix the band and zip look at it are you seeing how i've also given it a good press i've given it a good press this is this is the trouser this is how it is it is looking very beautiful so let me cut the band. I'm going to cut two inches. Two inches band. I'm going to put interfacing. I'll use SD and gum it. Look at it. I added SD to it. Then I fold here. I fold. I think half inch is okay. Then you now fold again, like this. Then you fold like this. So this is how you add it to your, so it's your trouser. Now you can see I have everything is neat inside. I have weaved everything. You get look at the inside. Yeah. So this is how you attach the band to your trouser before the zip before the zip so now look at the back this is the good side of the band now this is the inside of the trouser this is the outside this is the inside so you place the good side of the band together to the inside of the trouser like this like this then you sew round you join with half inch all round or 0 0.25 yeah so now you are going to turn it like this. Yeah, good. So that inside will be will be neat. Are you seeing the inside? Are you seeing it? So you will turn it like this to the outside because we've already ironed this place so, and we've gotten our crease line. So you're going to turn it like this, like this. This is it. We are done with our trouser. I fixed the band and also fixed the zip also fix the zip so look at everything inside everything is looking pretty this is it this is it we are done we are 
done with the trouser. This, this material is a crepe material. So, this is it.